today we're going to be making a really inexpensive cook and it's going to feed a ton of people. So we're starting with a pork loin. We're going to show you how to make a bacon wrapped pork loin. The whole cook's going to cost under 20 bucks and you can meal prep like a carnivore for the whole week. So stick around. And what we're going to do is just lay these out on our board. Now you're gonna to wanna to make your bacon weave about as wide as one of these strips is long because we're trying to make a square out of this. So again, you want these to be as wide as one of the bacon strips is long. So once we've got the base laid down, we're gonna take alternating strips and move these back. Now take a piece of your bacon and just lay it down there like this, as close as you can to the edge. And now, take your strips back. Now that we've got our first layer done, we're going to do the same thing, but we're pulling back the pieces of bacon that we had laid flat on the previous strip. Now we'll get out a piece of bacon, and lay that down, so we're just going to repeat this step all the way through here until we've got a full bacon weave. Now this bacon weave is going to help retain a lot of moisture within the pork loin. The pork loin itself isn't a very fatty cut of protein and so this bacon being wrapped around the outside of that pork loin is just going to help to keep some juiciness and add another layer of flavor to this cook. So now let's get our pork loin out and I'll show you how to wrap it in this. Now we're just gonna lay this down at one end of the bacon weave. We'll take our chef's knife, cut this end off, just square that up a little bit and we'll do the same over here. So these end pieces, we're gonna season the same way but for our bacon weave, we want our main pork loin to be the same size as the weave itself. So with the help of your chef's knife, we just get in under here and try to rotate. Now we've got the entire surface here covered in our bacon weave. And again, this, all of this fat in the bacon, it's gonna render down through our cook on the pellet grill. And it's just gonna help to maintain a ton of moisture on this guy throughout the whole cook. Now we're gonna move on to the seasoning. Now for seasoning, we're gonna keep it simple. We're just going in with a little SPG. So that's even parts, freshly ground black pepper. And we're going in with garlic powder. And then coarse kosher salt. Now we'll just mix that around. Now we'll get that over top of our pork loin. You also want to get the underside of this as well. Now we'll just roll that back. Now there's no specific amount of seasoning we're using here. We're just doing this to our taste. So depending on the size of your pork loin, do the same thing. Okay, so with this all seasoned up, let's get the pellet grill warming up to temp. So for this cook, we're going to be setting our pellet grill to 325. And we're gonna be cooking this hot because we want the bacon on the outside to crisp up. All right, so let's get this pork loin on the smoker. We'll place it right in the middle. And now, of course, we're gonna use our temp probes to slot them through the port and the side of the grill here. Get those into the center of the pork loin. We'll do the same on the other side. Now we'll let the grill finish heating up and we'll show you our little hack to give this a bit of extra smoke. So the little hack here is just to take some of your pellets, and we're using hickory pellets here, and fill up one of these little smoker tubes. Just like that. So once you've got your smoker tube full, just close this down, get out your charcoal starter here. Just light one end of this. Now, let that just smolder out like that. Let the flame go out. And now add this into the pellet grill right next to your cook. And it'll just add an extra super smoke flavor to your cook. So now let's just open up the lid and we'll place this guy in the back. Just like that. 
so we're an hour into the cook. We're just gonna check in on things here. We've got that smoker tube along the back, still generating some nice smoke here. Things are coming along pretty well. We're at an internal temp of 93 degrees Fahrenheit. We're looking for a final temp here of 145. That's when pork's done. So we still got a ways to go. We've cranked up the heat to 375. We want that bacon to crisp up a little bit more. So we'll check back in in probably half an hour. So we're just over 120 degrees at this point and we're really starting to get a nice red color forming around our bacon and the loin here. Now we're keto, so we're trying to keep our sugar down here, but now's the time if you want to add a barbecue sauce, just pour that on, use one of these basters, rub that around, and then we've got probably 15 minutes left in the cook here, so that barbecue sauce will really tack up just before you're ready to take this off the grill. All right, we've got the internal temp just over 140 now, so we're ready to take this off the grill. Just to show you how juicy this is, while we've had it out here resting, it's all of the juice that's come out of the actual pork loin has just pooled up here in the carving board. It's filled up that groove and it's actually dripping down onto the ground here. So we've had this guy just resting here for about 10 minutes. We had a juice situation over here that we've had to clean up a little bit. Now before we carve into this guy, I just wanna go through some of the actual economics behind this. This was an 8.6 pound pork loin that cost us about $15 American. So this is super cheap. So to start with, as you drag a knife along the top, you can tell we've got some nice crispy bacon that's formed up on the outside. And now I'm just gonna carve into the middle and show you how this is done. Oh, beautiful, look at that. We've got a nice little smoke ring that's even reached down into the pork. We've got super juicy, tender pork right in the middle. Now for the meal prep part of this cook, what we do is you have two options. One, you can just carve off a full slice, just like that, you know, one solid portion of pork loin. You just put that in a little lunch box, paper bag, you name it, whatever you're using for lunch or dinner, boom, there you go. The other option, once this cools down, this will be a little bit easier, but you can slice this really, really thinly and use it almost like deli meat. So we used to do this, make pork loin sandwiches, put a little mustard in between some whole grain bread, a few dill pickles, just some meat like this. Absolutely incredible, really tender, really juicy, and all of this that you're seeing here from a pork loin standpoint for 15 bucks. The bacon was, we used a package and a half, you know, maybe that's another $7. Now I just wanna do the taste test. We've got a few of these sliced up here. Just gonna carve into that. And here we go, down the hatch. So that was really delicious. You got some of the smoke from the hickory pellets we were using. You definitely got the SPG rub that we created coming through. A nice little crispiness, which is a good texture with the bacon on the outside here. But overall, again, super simple recipe. This one's great if you're looking to stretch your doll a little bit further. So if you like this video, consider giving it a like below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.